welcome to visions of light and love this is your reading for the energy for the end of december this reading is for all of the capricorn sun moon rising and venus we are going to jump right into this reading capricorns your energy will be on the right hand side your partners will be on the left hand side okay if you are returning you are welcome back if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. Okay, if this reading does not resonate with your situation, please check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are always welcome here. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading. Okay. And you want to show some support to this channel. Hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and the thumbs up image. Thumbs up image. <laughs> okay, Capricorns, what's going on with you? Hit that thumbs up image so this video can circulate. Okay. I'm trying not to talk so much in the beginning of these readings. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead. I don't want to um, keep pulling. So, I am seeing Capricorns, you may be going through a storm. There may be a storm taking place at this time. Comment below and let me know. Um, however, I feel like I feel the need to say that Although you may be in a storm, spirit is saying whenever a storm comes in, in our lives, that means it's time for change. You may be dealing with someone that is a karmic or this person um, needs to let, you need to let this person go. This person may trigger you. They may have you on some type of term oil and spirit is saying it's time to let this person go. Whether it's by phone or text. It's time to let this person go. Your person is happy at this time. They are, some someone here may be nurturing a baby or a young child, but um, your person may have an idea that they want to give birth to that they're excited and happy about as well. But I'm seeing your person overcoming obstacles that were in their way and they are, ascending they're learning something new they're preparing for this new phase in their life this person is healing they're healing and they're moving forward separating themselves from people places and things that no longer serve them could be a love interest with cupid's arrow in the reverse it, your person is separated or separating or you and your person are separated from each other at this time but i'm seeing your partner is growing they are growing. They're not even thinking about love, but love in reverse. This person is not thinking about love at all. They are ready to take a risk on whatever this idea is that they have. This person is ready to take the risk. This could be vice versa as well. Someone is birthing a new business or a new um, creative idea. And they're not afraid to, um, to do it. They're ready to take the risk. Putting everything out there. This person is bearing their soul. Putting their soul into this business. Now you Capricorn. Remember this is tarot. So the energies could very much be vice versa. Only you know your story. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. Capricorns. You like this person. However I feel like you may have never told this person how much you like him. Some of you may be like fronting. Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, say girl talk in the reverse. You're wearing a mask. You're not being honest and letting this person know how you feel. And because of that, it is causing separation here. Some of you need to take time out to heal with clock at the bottom of the deck. 
I'm saying that you may be the one who needs to heal because this person that is in your heart space or the person that you are dealing with, this person is already healed. Okay. Yeah. See, King of Swords conversation needs to take place in order to have victory with this person because right now you're um, overthinking and with this fool card, you may feel like a fool right now. You may be juggling multiple things, multiple people. Pretty, um, but I'm seeing you want to go down a new path. You're being strong, though. You're being strong. Could be for children. You may be being strong for children. Some of you are overworked. You feel like you're working too much, and it's causing you to feel like the wounded warrior. Some of you are doing a lot of work at this time. <clears throat> yeah, the death card. So I'm saying you wanting to put an end to something so that new something new can come in. You feel somebody stabbed you in your back. You have this here twice. Someone stabbed you in your back, let you down, cause some type of disappointment here. And there is a separation that's taking place. If it has not happened, it will be happening. Someone stabbed you in your back, but they stabbed you in your back because you didn't show your true feelings for them. You didn't show them that you wanted to work things out with them and that you wanted to move forward with them. Some of you need to listen to your intuition and you didn't. Or this, again, this could be vice versa, only you know your story. Okay. Can't be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, an Aries, Aquarius energy is here. Yeah, see, you want to offer this person a cup of love, but you're waiting. You're trying to gain clarity about what they're doing. Some of you may be getting advice from family and friends because I do see you want to um, offer this person love. But you are watching them. You're watching and you're waiting to see what they do. You're trying to gain clarity here because you, you want to take th make things serious and stable with this person. Okay, you may be spying on them at this time, checking out their social media page, driving past their home. Yeah, there was a tower moment, Scorpio Aries energy. You may feel as if this person has choices. Some of you feel as though your person has choices and that's why things are not moving forward. The will, will of fortune is here is not turning in your favor because you feel like this person has choices. And that's, again, the energy of putting something to rest, putting an end to something so that something new comes in because you think this person is playing games. You think they're a player here, there, everywhere. And it's like, I'm here not today. You know your worth. You know your worth. And this has caused you to become anxious because you're trying to figure out what this person is doing and why they haven't taken things to the next level. And it's because you feel like this person is juggling multiple people and multiple things. Yeah. So you're just waiting and watching. Some of you are ready to walk away from this permanently. So I'm going to leave it at that, Capricorns. This is your reading for the energy at the end of January. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Bye.